What's up, what's up, y'all? Load over here in North, unloaded, North Carolina. As you can see, there's Bella back there with the load, got the straps taken off. Get ready to do our thing. Fort left operators on the other side. So yeah, this should be quick. They got the right equipment to work with. So let's get to it. That's a bad dude right there, man. But she put the work in till it works out. Work it out till it's turned out. Yeah. So check this out. Uh, I don't even know where to begin, but anyway, here it goes. So I got my paperwork from the agent or whatever, picked this load up, and uh, it didn't have a street address. Well, it didn't have a house number on it. So on the paperwork, it says point of contact. Uh, the agent's pretty good at you know having the right point of contact on the on the paperwork for the most part, bill laden or whatever. So. Uh, Call a guy up the day before, which was yesterday, before I got ready to leave this morning. And uh, he sent me the pin drop of the job site of where uh, I thought was the job site for the load. Anyway, long story short, me and another driver both had the same point of contact for the job site delivery. And uh, we both get there and it's the wrong job site. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So, uh, I'm looking at my bill of lading, looking at the bill of lading, and trying to contact the agent. But we got it figured out. Uh, I'm not going to talk bad about anybody. Yet. With that being said, I finally got in touch with the guy here at this job site, and he gave me the street address, uh, which was only like five, six miles away from where I was. But, you know, if you look at those five or six miles in the drive time, you know, you're losing. 10, 15, 20 minutes off your, off your clock. So, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna get upset about it. There's no need for that. Uh, nothing I can do about it at this point. But uh, I'm gonna tell you guys now, man, if you're one of those guys who like to leave on Sunday, make sure you check the paperwork. Make sure you double check the paperwork and make sure you get in contact with somebody on the job site that's, that knows you're coming and you know, they know exactly where you're supposed to be because you don't want to waste your drive time or, you know, waste fuel. Uh, diesel's hot, man. So, uh, yeah, just make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's when you go on the job site. You don't want to get out here, you know, get screwed up. It's lucky for me, like I said, it was only five, six miles across the bushes, but that five or six miles can cost you half a day. So, yeah, man, totally different job site. Totally different. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Pac-Man. We out.